All right, today's question comes through Facebook, and if you want to send me a Facebook question, you just go to facebook.com slash Dita Randolph. You can also send me uh, email questions by going to DitaRandolph.com slash contact or, and this is my favorite, you can send questions through Twitter by just posting any question with the hashtag AskDieter. Anyway, this question comes from Gabe and uh, Gabe's question is, how do I deal with the fear of rejection? Thank you for the question and like a lot of these, the answer is in the question itself. The problem is not rejection, the problem is fear. It's really about how do I get over fear? And the truth is, fear is just faith in the bad thing happening, in the negative outcome. In this case, fear of rejection is really faith in rejection. Because all fear is, is a perception that this kind of thing can happen. And we draw to ourselves what we give our attention to. So let me put that another way. If you're worried about the negative outcome, the rejection, and whether this is, you know, trying to, to go up to uh, somebody you like romantically or a job situation or a project or anything, how are you helping something positive happen by giving all of your attention to the negative thing happening? Fear is just faith because faith is perception. And Believe how you want to believe about faith, but here's the deal. You are never really going to get surprised. You are never really going to have an experience any bigger than what you see with what you allow through the paradigm of your thought. You're never really going to be surprised, not really. So your job, if you want to be successful and happy and get over the fear, is to have as big of an idea as you can. You know, sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes the bad thing, the negative outcome, the rejection, the whatever, sometimes that happens. I'm sure you have a lot of experiences, a lot of stories about the bad thing happening. I know I do. I hope you've had less than me, and yet here I am. One way or another, the bad things, the things that I thought would be the end of my universe weren't because here I am. In all cases, they took away some part of me that I guess I didn't need because I'm still me. So, what's the worst thing that can happen, really? The world is not going to blow up if that boy or that girl doesn't talk to you or if that job doesn't work out. Don't worry about it. Your job has nothing to do with the outcome. Your job has to do with being the best you you can be, speaking your truth, standing up for what's right, showing the world what love looks like. And you know what? Not everybody's going to want to hear your message. Not everybody's going to be open and receptive to what you have to say or the light that you have to shine. Who cares? That's their problem, not yours. You did your part, and your job is to keep doing your part. I don't know who said it first, but somebody said the secret to success is to get up one more time than you fall down. That's all. You know, the spiritual life, the happy life, the successful life has nothing to do with problem avoidance. There's a lot of wonderful heroes, spiritual and otherwise, who have had lots of bad things happen to them, who had challenges to overcome. It's okay if it doesn't always work out for you. It's okay if you have challenges. It's okay if you don't know what's going to happen next. Spirituality is not about problem avoidance. It's about problem solving. Stuff is going to happen that you don't expect. And stuff is going to happen that you don't want. But you have what it takes to get over it. Because there is something about you that that situation needs. And there's something about you that you no longer need that will go away. This is a wonderful part of the growth process. So thank goodness for it. Don't worry about being rejected. It's not your job. Just worry about being true because your truth is exactly what the world needs and your questions are exactly what i need thanks for sending them in keep them coming thanks for sharing these videos thanks for subscribing to these videos it means everything have a good day